Hi folks, welcome to Chief Kirk Outdoors. Today I'm gonna do something just a little different, and that is, I've kinda of got it in my mind that what I'd like to do is, every time I do a video, I'd like to uh, shout out a couple of my uh, YouTube buddies. And I'm gonna start today with, uh, with a couple of guys all these people that I'm going to shout out to you are just absolutely awesome people. And this is an awesome community. And I like them all, love them dearly, just like my brothers and sisters. I, I really do. And uh, they're important to me. And I enjoy watching their videos. And they're really, really good people. And it's really, really hot out here. Wow. So today I'm going to shout out two different people. And I'm going to start with Redneck Renegade. And I'm going to leave, I wish I could talk, I'm going to leave a link to their uh, channels in my description box. And we'll start off with old Redneck Renegade. Everybody knows that if you're in this community, you know Redneck Renegade. You know they don't, they don't come no nicer guy than Redneck. He's got a heart of gold. He's just, he's just a super nice guy. As a matter of fact, he sent me this uh, ferrocerium rod that I'm going to be using today. And so, shouting out my brother Redneck Renegade. Also going to shout out another uh, extremely nice fella. A good brother, a good friend. Great channel. And... Uh, Michael Brunner. Mike, you're top of the line, buddy. I appreciate you, man. Folks, again, I'll leave the link to his channel in the description. And once again, most, uh, all my videos, unless I just forget, I'm gonna try to shout out a couple of people. I've got an awful lot of nice folks on there. Now today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little fire with my ferrocerium rod. And I can do that on this uh, paper which this paper is of course just shredded up bills and stuff and it makes absolutely wonderful tinder. Now it's a little hard sometimes to get it started like that so what I did is I, I packed the inside of it with some char cloth. So, and I need to make some char cloth. This char cloth is old and if I used it for flint and steel it'd be hard to get it to light up but I, I need to make some more. But it works great for a coal extender to uh, to use on this. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So stand by with me right here, folks. And I'll... I'm pretty sure I got my... It's hard to see because when the sun shines on it, you can't see when it turns red. But it is red because I can feel the heat and I'm seeing the smoke also. Where they smoke, there's fire. I hear flames, but I don't see them. I hear them again, I don't see them. But it is lit. Don't take long that way, folks. There's always little ways of getting around, getting a fire going when you're having a difficult time. There's all kinds of little tricks you can use, and that's one of them right there. So, anyhow, thank you folks for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to check out these guys' channels because they are awesome human beings. Till I see you next time, God bless you. Don't forget to tell somebody you love them. They may not be here tomorrow. Thank you.